of the Hobby Toku anime, we're going to talk about one of my personal favorite animes, Duel Masters, even if the dub is awful. Let's begin. Hey, I want Koro D. Cone Man, time for an edition of Hobby to Toku and Sports. Today, we're talking about anime and hobbies. And Toku being freak hobby and anime, and that is the Magic's little brother, Duel Masters. You're probably not knowing what it is because it kind of flopped in America, which will we explain before we do. Let's talk about Duel Masters. It's a card game with five elements, like magic, but instead of being that for colors, they're elements. Now being fire for red, water for blue, green for... Uh, nature, darkness is black, and white, which is now light. And light is basically yellow instead of white. Got that? Good. There's also colors colored, but I will explain that later on. But this video is mostly going to talk about my thoughts on why Duel Masters is kind of forgotten in the anime culture. Even if it's a really good dub Japanese series. Mostly for comedy, but I will get into that right now. Let me explain with our first era of the series, or the first ten, nine, year, nine or ten years of the series, or the Shobu Saga. Basically, we start with Purple Shirt Shobu, which is the part we got adaptated was like the first season plus the first series and the first 13 episodes of season, second series, or change. Basically, change is great and good. However, later change is the introduction of our second era for Shobu, Karafuda, Red Shirt Shobu, which is like later beginning series, I like to call it. Basically, this era is what the reason why they changed the color was purple was to him in the Dual Mask, the Magic Gathering tie in, which the main goal was originally magic based, then it became its own card game. And when it became its own card game, that's when we got introduced to the normal card game of the series, and that is Duel Masters, which is the title of the series. But let me not over-explain, but you get the point. Basically, this card game has a mechanic called Shield Trigger, where if you draw a spell most of the time, some spells have a Shield Trigger effect, where you draw, if you Shield Breaks, and if you check, and it's a Shield Trigger, then you get the card, play that card automatically, which is kind of a great thing in Duel Masters, where it's like in the anime, most modern anime, it's like, Shield Trick or Tech! And it's like, bad, it's like, eh, eh, or, Shield Trick or Tech! Ding, ding, ding. Good, I can play this! Or, oh, eh, eh, like, basically, it's like the anime equivalent of, let me check if I got some good! Damn it! Thank God I have to have it. But anyhow, Shobu is uses fire, and most of the protagonists fire. Okay. Other characters include freaking Hakua, which is our light user. Rikuta, who is our idiot, meant uh, psychic character who has nothing to do with the plot. Mimi, who secretly starts as being an idiot, but not really an idiot. Boy George, yes, that's his name, based on the famous singer. And his whole joke is, he's a baby! But really a bad... With baby clothes. Hello, I am a baby. Like, sorry, that's really stupid. And Kokujo, our main rival. And if you saw the dub's first appearance of him, it's Matrix Boy. Yeah, I love the dub. The dub is awful. It's really bad. I don't want to... Might do a video on the dub, maybe for April Fool's Day. Who knows? That could be funny. But, yeah. Hello. I am not here because... If I was here, I'd break years of anime tradition. Oh, God, my career is ruined! Or, or some other jokes that are really stupid. Well, let's get into it. The third and final of the Shobu phase era. Freak era I like to call the Cross Saga. Cross Saga is basically two seasons, season one and season two of Cross, and Cross Shock. But let's get... Shock art. No, 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 And just to know, for a while, Duel Masters was a 15-minute anime, which instead of being 30 minutes long, it's 15, which is kind of crappy, but it was 
a good 15-minute anime. Better than, like, Prof. Fight Beat a Man, but that's another story. But anyhow, freaking Duel Masters is great. Riddle Era also had three movies. First was a team-up with Mega Man, Battle Network at, for the first movie, came out at the same time. Another with a Penguin series, which I don't know. And the second movie is also the best movie when it comes to Duel Masters plot because of Reverse Evolution. And also, the third movie came out a year after that movie, and that movie for Shock Cross, Cross was a good prequel to the final half of the show, but really wasn't important to the plot, so move along. Basically, Duel Masters is great, with mechanics like double flip cards, which is later the inspiration for Double Face for Magic, which I might do a video on that, if I do analyzing stuff. But anyhow, let's start with the second era, the V Saga. The V Saga is basically Shobu. Do no more Shobu. Now it's Kata, which I don't know how to pronounce his name, but it's no how to spell it. K T K A T T A. Kata. Basically, he's our idiot character who acts like a reverse Jaden, where as time progresses. With Jaden, he's kind of starts as a good character, liking the game, then hating it because he gets so good. For Kata, he doesn't care for the game at the beginning, but does care as time progresses better than other characters. Also, this series has a few other characters, which I might just move along with the rest of the characters because I'm not sure about some of them just to know, so I won't say their names, but nicknames like Gay Sidekick, Afro... Afro Midget and Badass Guy and also the line guy for season 2 of Duel Man Victory Saga or V-Dash. Basically V-Dash Double Flip is now Merger Flip Double Color. They did it. Part 1 is like 3. Part 2 is now 2 and 3. 4 Double Flip Super Version which has a powerful card where it's all 5 colors together with two 3 color combination of Three different cards, different combination, all together to form a five color card, which is kind of weird, but let me not play that because I'm not sure. Also, Victory 3 or Victory V3. Haven't seen this series because it's so hard to find clips of it. So, yeah, I mostly watch Duel Masters with clips, even if it's hard to find freaking clips of the freaking show in English translation. So we're screwed. Don't worry, the next season, Duel Masters after V3, after Victory, it's now versus, versus. Sorry, not that versus, not Super Star Dive versus. Aww. But anyhow, Duel Masters for, uh, Victory versus, versus Revolution! And versus Revolution Final! Yes, in that order, it's a trilogy. First part, versus. Versus is kind of funny and great, but it's not the good idea of Shabu returning to the series as a joke, be Dr. Evil. I'm no evil, but at the end of his fight, cameo, he becomes good again. Yay! Then he gets trapped out of the island, forgets himself. In the following season, there's like another crossover dual matter. Yay! Then also, after Victor... Re victory uh, versus Revolution Final, which had a crossover with Core Coral's main gag series. Yes, that was a funny crossover where part one was like a Core Coral parody, while the second one is the mascot showing up as a cameo, which is funny. Also, Duel Masters is a really good card game, like with some weird, ridiculous mechanics, but it conducts a balance of ridiculousness. But anyhow, after the last few episodes of Victory vs. Vers vs. Revolution Final, basically, they get to a new character, which is called Joe. Yes, Joe! I don't know why we have a Western character named Joe Carafuda, our third Carafuda protagonist, and his series, Duel Masters, Reboot Modern, which I'm just going to call Duel Masters Modern for or 2017 because it came out in 2017. Okay. Basically, the series is great. Mostly the him getting a magic deck case named Decky. Yeah, that's his name. That's stupid. Hello, I'm Decky! And his main power is to make any of Joe's fanfic cards into real cards. Characters include this thing. Not Team... Blame Team Rock... Get Labor T Rocket Clone with a hippo for Meow. 
that's kind of not a good team. Other characters include a few, which I won't over-explain because I don't really care for those series. Vic, modern Doom, uh, Doom Joe era is kind of iffy with a few cloned characters, which is kind of interesting. The Not Hakua, which is kind of the badass. And just to know, each season, season one, he's just colors. Then the end of season one, he gains fire. Then season two, he gains nature. Then can combine with the fire. Then water, which is in the third season, does that thing. Does combine all three elements for both red, blue, green, and also his own color, Joe, which is basic Joker mana, which is basically colorless. And basically this is then light at the end of the series, also Suit King, which is the second half of the beginning of the second first half of the second half of the series. Kind of great. It ends with uh, Kata returning. Basically, Kata returns. Now, Deki dies at the end of the series. That's the big sacrifice. And Joe just used new cards. Defeats his rival as a joke because in the first time they sucked in the middle of the series, he defeats him again and again. But this time was like a Redemption bad joke or whatever, which is kind of weird. But anyhow, that's a dual, modern Duel Master, a Duel Masters Joe era. But anyhow, now let's talk about the recent series. Duel Masters, win! 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 Sorry, that was a joke. Basically, win is the current series. And unlike the other series where fire was the main character's element, now it's darkness. I haven't seen much of it. It's kind of great with a few characters like his father, his adopted father, who is like another Karafuda, basically a mentor who is an idiot, which in the first episode was them um, battling each other as like the first match of the series. Kind of great, kind of good, kind of not. Also, there's a UFO user, a, a light user that's basically a lady, which is good. And our rival this season is Fire. It's still going on, so if you know what it is, leave a comment. I might do Duel Master when they get to next season. Also, there's Win Academy arc, which is the current arc of the series. Not sure about it. Leave a comment down below if you care for Duel Master. But anyhow, this is Command saying bye bye for now. Hope you liked the video. Leave a comment below if you know Duel Masters or you prefer the dub. Yes, the dub is awful, but go watch the actual subs if they exist. I know that they're so hard to find, but if they exist, believe me, send me a video. Please. This is Command saying bye bye. For now.